Also, like the fucking podcast and comment shit because that helps again the algorithm. It is even when you get big, but I'm. We're not recording! We're not recording. This mic fucked it's up. It's your fault! Yeah. Podcast number 80, I think. We got Johnny here and Jakey Poo. <laughs> it's all disgusting. It's Mexican candy. It's not normal. We still have the Halloween decorations. Let's get it on the table. We're eight days later. We'll clean it up one day. I had to move the past like set, set six or seven days, so now I'm done moving. Okay. <laughs> I live right by Johnny now. We have Nick Bohr out of frame. Come, come peek your little head in here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Wait, we have that bean boozle shit. Should we do that? Otherwise, Where, and that shit's so fucking good. Hello? Unplug it and plug it back in. Where'd you get a bean boozle? I ordered on Amazon. I have British candy bars too. We can try British yeah. chocolate candy bars. You have them? I forgot them at my house. Bro, that sounds so good. What, do you, what the I fuck? We can't hear Jake's fucking voice, dude. What the fuck, dude? Is that the right cord? Pull it up and see if that's the right. What could have even happened? Nothing. It just sits stationary, bro. Nick's been up here jerking off into it every night. <laughs> All right. Uh, a, a lot to talk about, kind of. Not really, though. Um, the first one is kind of serious, though. So. Rest in peace, my man. Take off, buddy. Was just casually on the side, watch people roll dice. A little argument happened. Very sad. Actually changed rap too. Like that group is was so influential like six years ago, so it's really sad. And he was the nephew, which is also heartbreaking. What? He was the nephew. They they were his uncles. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So his How old was he? Dude, imagine how Quavo feels. Like Wait, that is so fun. Like, like, he was he was he was born in nineteen ninety, I think, or ninety two or something. What about the other one? Early nineties. They were born in the eight, late eighties, I think. He's almost twenty eight. Jesus. He was only twenty eight. Jake's 94. mic is yeah, fucked. Yeah, your mic doesn't even work. God damn it, motherfuckers. Jake's mic is fucked up. I'm fucking pissed. Wait, what? Mob Ties is a Houston-based like gang record label family group that was with them that got in the argument with them. And they're supposed to be there to like protect them. They were like their group protecting them like gang shit. What? Yeah. And academics fed us. <laughs> On stream, live stream it to like 75,000 people, watching like 50 different videos trying to break down which person did it. Dude, that shit was he's so fucking, he's too much, bro. Um, baby apparently sold buy one, get one free tickets in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would like that. How many did he sell? It's a 1,300 people venue, which is way lower than what the baby used to do, which is surprising. Well, obviously. I didn't who the fuck cares was, about him? I didn't Literally, who cares about him? Do you care about the baby? No. Do you care about the baby? Do you? Do you? Let's go. People only care about Playboy Cardi or something, dude. I care about other people other than Playboy Cardi. I'm talking about rappers like and Kendrick and like the big ones. Yeah. But I didn't realize his follows was gonna be this hard. Like it feel I feel kinda bad. Well He lives next to my uncle. For real? In North Carolina. Dox him. No. Talk about the address. No. I literally know the neighborhood. <laughs> Say it. Dude, he was like Trying to act like they were friends on my vacation. He's like, my friend, the baby. Oh my god! <laughs> like old white guy shit. Oh my god! He met him. You I think that you think they kissed briefly. Oh. But did I buy one get one free? That's a new finesse I've never heard. Honestly, for a ticket, it's kind of smart. Yeah, I know. You just you, upcharge the ticket, and then like you're gonna. No, the tickets weren't upcharged. They were twenty five dollars. So did he sell it out? I don't know, but it was twelve dollars each, pretty much. <laughs> Jake's still trying to fix his fix his microphone over there, dude. What the f actual fuck could have happened? Hold on, hold on. Let me try to put that. Do you like how it's cold in LA? Because I love it. Yeah, you see the fit, bro. It's, Johnny has a fake North Face on, guys. By the way, that shit was twenty bucks. No, it was like fourteen. <laughs> Putting it out there, baby. Stop playing. <laughs> and this shit is warm as hell. Wait, what does that say? Seven hundred. Yeah. Are you excited to go snowboarding? Yeah. I have a whole snowboard collection. Are you doing a season pass? I already got it. How much was it? For Mountain High, it's five ninety nine. Is that the one I went to, Mountain High? Yes. Wait. Yeah? Yeah. It's the closer one. It's an hour away? Yeah. 
Dude, li- listen to this. They they put on they put on like Monday that they were gonna open on Thursday because they're getting a big ass snowstorm, and then they're like, okay, never mind. We're gonna open on Friday, and then today they posted, never mind. We don't know when we're gonna open because they just ended up getting rain and no snow. And people are like pissed in the comments. They're like, you do this every fucking year. Like they have to push it back until they get enough snow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How big- much was it again? What for the season pass? Oh, like. Are you high? Six, no, I'm just tired. Oh. Like six, 600, 599. For a, oh, the whole season? Yeah. Holy shit, that's a lot of money, kind of. Dude, it's like 120 to go one time. Yeah, but I'm going to only go one time if I go. <laughs> yeah, so why the fuck would you get a season pass? I don't know how to snowboard. I'm going to bust my ass again and pop my knee out. Dude, it's too big of an, an it's like, it's too much. I didn't no, even, it's not. I didn't even go up you the fucking thing. You didn't even go on the lift. I wanted the baby hill. He fucking walked up. No, him. I don't know how to snowboard. Why would I? Okay, think think about this. Why would I put myself on top of a mountain that I have to snowboard? That's how down? you learn. That's how I did it the first time I did it. Why would I put myself up top of a mountain that I'm gonna fall down? Because you like you're times. forced to learn. If forty you do times. It like I'm gonna that. fall down forty times to learn how to go down this mountain. Why would I do that? Because it makes you learn. What do you mean? That's I tried it on the pussy hill bro, listen, and I'm, fell 50 times. I'm already. telling you it's easier when you're going faster. The smaller hill is harder to do. Why are you do. squinting at me? What's your opinion, bitch? What? Talk? It could be Wait, settings. Plug this into there. Give me that. Okay, so Twitter thing's confusing, bro. I fucked myself. I thought, I was under the impression if you don't pay $8 a month, you lose your verification. Yeah. I don't think that's true. I think you keep it. If you have it already, I think. So I went and bought the Twitter blue thing because I also thought that that's how you're able to monetize your Twitter videos to make money off Twitter. Oh. So I was like, fuck it, I want to try to make money off Twitter too. Like, why not? So now when people click on my verified tabs, it says I'm verified through Twitter blue, not through because I was like a government official or whatever, like the cool one. But if you hadn't paid for it, it would have still said that. I. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Twitter's confusing now. They're just trying to make money. It's $100 a year. I canceled it. Um, and I'll find out on December 9th if I lose my verification. Dude, I feel like they should have, like, like you can do the $8 <coughs> thing, but you should have to be, a, a, like, a person of some sort of significance for it to actually be verified. That's what I yeah. thought, too. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, there still should be... Like, my mom could make a Twitter right now and be verified. I don't know about that. Oh. I think you, your account probably has to be, like, a thing for a few months or something, if I were to guess. Uh-huh. Well, I have a, well, a bunch of verified eggs on the ground. This fucker got verified, didn't you? Finally, and then I, I had like an artist had wait ninety eight followers. You didn't pay for it? Nah, got what? an official baby. Really? Oh, oh, he's lying. Jake's Jake's saying he's lying. <laughs> How the fuck would I get it money, you? Bro. Hey, where do you go? To hey, it's working. You? Example A. I I spent eight dollars. Oh wait, B. I I can do it, it, and I have thirteen followers on Twitter. <laughs> He's about to do his third. No, I'm not. But I could if I, I wanted crazy. to. I'm not doing that. Bro, it's because he he paid forty fucking billion dollars for fifty billion for the company. I feel like there's better ways to do it though. For verification, like to make money back. I mean, how does Twitter even like make money normal? Ads. There's, there's uh, a lot of ads. Just on Twitter. ads. There's probably a, I see a lot of ads on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. The what just is, ads. Is there any other thing besides the verification thing now? There probably is. I just don't know. Huh. And there's also an investigation because apparently in the past people, Twitter employees that did verified shit would, uh, like if you submitted for verification, they would deny you, but then privately ask for money to get verified. And Elon responded to him, was like, yeah, but investigation and, and is happening. Because apparently some Twitter employee was making 10K per check mark. Who the fuck would pay 10k for yeah. a fucking? I wouldn't pay 500 dollars for Twitter ver- like fuck you. I'd probably pay like 100 bucks. Wait, okay. If if it was like on some under the table shit, I'd pay 500. What? I'd, I'd probably pay like I'd pay like 2k, but like probably not anything more than that. You can get Instagram verified for 2k. There's a guy that was offering it for 1500. Remember? Who? Some sketchy dude, but they're all end up being hackers, so don't trust them. Yeah, dude. that's that. Ah, okay, don't talk about hackers. I'm so scared of that. All right, I have a million questions I asked the people mm. on my Instagram story, so let's go through some of these boys. And you guys like when we do this, so why not? Um, do you ever miss Maryland? Yeah, I do right now because it's all cold here now, and I miss Wawa. 
Oh. Late night Wawa or McDonald's uh, runs. It's just like driving around, like La Plata just be like doing well, nothing. I don't know about that. No, dude, think about it. When we were like 17, going to like Wawa or like going to like Texas Roadhouse and then like skating, okay. it's freezing. I fucking miss Texas Roadhouse so much. I'll drive tonight. No, what time is it, bro? Closes, let's go tonight. It closes at 10, bro. What it's time a, is it? It's an hour and a half away. We're not, we're not driving an hour and a half away for Texas Roadhouse, bro. It's near the mountains. It's near, oh wait, it's Seth like, putting Jake off. <laughs> Jake hates mountains. No, it's like it's like <coughs> it's like if you go to Texas Roadhouse and you're in LA, you might as well go to Vegas too. And you're already almost halfway there. It's another three hours, I guess. It's an hour and a half towards Vegas. Like you might as well keep going. It's three hours away. What is Vegas? Is Vegas? We I thought Vegas is like four, four and a half. Yeah, we passed it when we really? went to Vegas. Yeah, yeah Vegas four, is far. Four and a half is only like three hours. We're talking about. For, bro, what are you saying? Four hours is pretty far. Like living on the East Coast, I wouldn't have thought that was far because we, like when we drive to New York and shit. But like here, since everything's so much closer, I'm like holy fuck. I mean, me. I live an hour away from the city, and like thinking being here in LA, and like thinking that I can get to Vegas in four hours by car, like that's insane to me. Yeah. I it was like four and a half hours. And I, I still haven't been to Vegas yet. Jake went to Vegas before me. What the fuck? Yeah, because you won't fucking go. Yeah. What? Okay, the last time it happened, something was... I had to do something. No, no you had the opportunity. There was nothing to do. When y'all went. Yeah. yeah. It was Halloween, bro. You weren't doing shit. You literally were like... Halloween yeah. 2021? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't remember what I was doing. Dude, I was trying to remember so hard what I did last last year on Halloween, and then I was like, what the fuck? Me too. And you then- were trapped in a hotel room, and I was on FaceTime, and I vlogged it. It's on the vlog. Oh, when I got stuck in the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, and they had to kick the door in. We didn't drunk. even get charged for that. We were, I don't think we were drunk. You were drunk as no, fuck. We, we were hammered every hour in Vegas. Basically. Yeah, that's true. That's true, we were. <laughs> I want to go. I love <laughs> Vegas. Me too. Wait, I'm actually down we next go. week or two. I'll go to Vegas. It's a four-hour drive. Let's go. Why are you squinting Let's in Let's go right Vegas? now. No, yes. fuck that. To, to Just. I'd go. I would do. What's your fav- top three favorite artists of all time? That's too hard, bro. ASAP Rocky, Nirvana. Rocky's top three? For me, it is. Dude, I fucking love ASAP Rocky so much. He's like top ten for me. You're tripping. <laughs> Schoolboy Q. Top three mm. for me is... Schoolboy Q's up there, but he's not my top three. Yeah. Okay, but there's so many genres. All three are genres, genres. for me. JPEG Monster. <laughs> Fuck you. There's so many yeah, genres. <laughs> Scoot over now so we're a little bit more... I'm getting hot in this! How do you expect me to get a thumbnail of your face when you're covered up like a little bitch? <laughs> thought it was like funny. It, there's no way I'm going to be able to get uh, like your hoodie and your beanie are just covering your face. Like a horrible thumbnail. No one cares about my face. Yes, they do. No. Dude, I swear to God, the the more... Oh. If I put a podcast thumbnail up... Here, okay, okay, this is for your, this is for you. your thumbnail. Okay, do it. Okay. Ew! Okay, you don't want that as a thumbnail, trust me, brother. But you do me so dirty with the thumbnails already. <laughs> you know bad. why I do you dirty? Because you never look that way. So the only times that you look that way is... Why would I look that way? I'm talking to you. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Whenever you look that way is when I have to grab it. So it's whatever face you're making, I okay. get it. <clears throat> brother, you want to fix that beanie. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with it? You just look like a condom. All right, top three yards for me. Ah! Okay, um... No, like that ass. Suicide Boy's definitely on there. Oh, fuck. I was going to put them or 100 Dude, I honestly think Turnstile might be, like, my favorite band ever besides Nirvana. I, I'd literally say Nirvana, Turnstile, and ASAP Rocky. Band is definitely Turnstile for me, too. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. What's another... Mm. The third artist that I like a lot. Mm. Third artist that I like a lot. Hmm. Yeet. Just kidding. All right. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> Imagine if I said that. Dude, have you seen that meme and it's like speed dating and the guy's like yeet and the lady's like who and he's like next! (laughs) That is so funny. You said that to me. (laughs) Did you see yeet say that he's never watched a movie before? He was on Complex Interview take of like goat movie, like best movie of all time on a card. He said, go movie. I don't think I've ever watched a movie before. Dude, he has to be trolling. Yeah, no, he's doing it for us to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, He's smarter than people think, honestly. Yeah. And then he said his goat goat food is chips. Are you like a like he's not real, bro? He's a straight up NPC. Who says your he favorite food of all time is chips? He said he eats thirteen bowls of cereal a day. Yeah, so the bro, last that has to be a troll. Thirteen bowls. No, well, he, he said his favorite bowl of cereal. I think he said his favorite thing to eat was cereal, and then he, Andrew, it was like on channel. 5. Yeah, 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 I know what you're like, talking about. How many bowls of cereal do you eat a day? And he's like, 
like 13. <laughs> bro, if he eats more than four bowls of cereal a day, actually, he's going to get diabetes, bro. You know how much sugar's in that? In his teeth, bro. Yeah, and it, like, dude, like, cereal, like, cuts the roof of my mouth. Like, it's poor. Oh, mouth. that only Captain Crunch did that for me growing up, bro. Right? Every other cereal, I'm good. That's true. I just take two, like, big of, like, spoonfuls, and then it, like, hurts my mouth. But I don't eat cereal that much, so my mouth is pretty How about you fucking soft. calm down and not <laughs> take you? Are you getting sick again? Johnny got no, sick too, I'm, by the way, This bitch. is like the end of the cough right now. All right, bro. Yeah, that's why we haven't done a podcast. I've been sick for like... Well, you got sick and then I moved. Well, yeah. Where does Johnny get his blanks from? Our warehouse production place does it. All that. I get my... All right, I'll, um, for t-shirts, I now use Comfort Colors. Okay. I used to use LA Apparel for the big heavy ones. But the collar's too tight? Yeah, that should be choking me. And then, uh, hoodies, it's like my own place is blank now. But I. Hey, okay, I'll, I'll fucking translate because you sound like hold a Hold on, idiot. hold on, I'm talking. Why does my mic sound so much shittier than yours? Your mic sounds perfect. Oh, okay. Um, and then. This is your shitty voice. Uh, yeah. but if you want a nice, uh, like higher quality hoodie blank LA Apparel, hoodies are really nice. But they're $30. Yeah, they're fucking expensive. Thirty dollars just for the blank. <laughs> yeah, that's so much. You have to charge at least seventy-five, bro. Right? That's like minimum if you're gonna make. Yeah, I I would charge so like seventy-two much for a hoodie. I want to do when I, I just paid for my Cowboys merch and I'm charging forty-eight. How did you get in the MW MW two trick shotting? I found Optic Predator and then I found Face Clan, and then Johnny always used to make fun of me, and I started trick shotting. And six man. Dude, you remember when you would post the videos and me and Landon like found them and we were making funny and you like deleted it or you like made it so we couldn't see them or something? You like privated them? Because you never wanted us to find your YouTube account. Oh, really? I kept it yeah, a secret? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I kept it. Because you'd be like such a nerd in them, bro. Wait, y'all ended up finding it? Yeah. How? I don't know. It's Zars. I don't remember. All right, my old channel is It's Zars. Don't say that. Are connections and big celebrities important to make a brand with an audience? Yeah, when you're starting out, definitely. It is even when you get big, but I'm- We're not recording! We're not recording. You fucking idiot. This mic's fucked It's us. your fault! Yeah. I was invited. God damn it, bro. We're not recording. Dude, I'm putting it I in can't... there, dude. I don't give a fuck. I'm putting all everything we just talked about for 10 minutes in there. We just weren't recording because I was trying to figure out Jake's fucking microphone. No, this is going to have to be a bit, All the shit that we weren't recording, you're just going to have to do that for a bonus. Just throw that in a bonus, and then we'll restart right now. Ah! Just restart a new one right now. No. Cameron. No, he can use the footage from the camera. Camera audio. Oh, the camera has audio? Yeah. yeah. And y'all It'll talk, pick that up. Yeah, we they, were all talking a lot anyways. They talked a yeah. few times, so it doesn't matter. That's a good bonus episode. Let's just restart right now. Bonus episode? That was one. That was one. We can't put that on the fucking YouTube. I did that before. <laughs> Brother, that is so bad. That people didn't even comment bad things. What? Really? I put a whole episode of no audio on the on a first hour with me, Steven, and Jake. And people didn't care. No. Well, it shit. Was an hour of it. And then I unplugged the whole fucking thing on accident and my heart sunk. <laughs> oh my God. Pop. All right. Well, I don't know. We're just keep talking, bro. We'll fucking figure fucking it out. Fucking hard, dude. Take your hoodie off. What do you think would be a, a, your job if there was no YouTuber ransom or come to Europe? I ain't flying to Europe no time soon, brother. I will. Uh, I think my job would be... Um, I hate flying. Hey, can you guys well. stop talking? Um, <laughs> I think it, I would do like heating and air conditioning. We've already talked about that like a thousand times. Heating and air conditioning? Yeah, for my stepdad. Don't you have to wake up at like six? Yeah, but you get that bag. You're... How much? I don't, it depends on how fucking hard you go. Hmm. Didn't you used to break those down or something? Yeah. I, I did like side jobs with them and shit. Mm. It's pretty easy. And then um, I think they did like 13 units in a day one time and separated all the copper. And you can like go, it depending on how much you separate the metals, is that's like how much money you get, like oh, how specific okay. it is. And bro, I got like $1,200 when I was young as shit. And I bought a drum set and a bike. I think I remember this. Yeah, I was hype. I, yeah, I, I thought bought, I, I bought a red line. Wait, let's talk about... Yeah. Halloween party. I thought I was having a heart attack in the car. I got to tell the people this. Oh, yeah. I wasn't here, so I'm... Okay, I'm driving. And then we go to this second party that Sam, of course, got. We get there. The cops are there already, so there's no point in going. We drove 30 minutes. And then, like, it was anxiety because I have bad posture, and I think it was this. It's from bad posture. All of a sudden, I just start feeling like I literally have a heart attack, and it's this thing called costa... Constaritis. 
for bad posture. Dude, all right, continue. Yeah, I think it's that. That's pretty much it. I started freaking out. You're not going to elaborate on your your freak out? I made, I like was like, I thought I needed a hospital and then I got in the passenger and made raspy drive and Brandon was in the back seat chilling. Were you like this fucking idiot? No, you thought I was laughing at him. I thought I heard him giggle. I said, Brandon, you laughing at me? (laughs) <laughs> you were about to throw. <laughs> no, no, you were about I, to swing. No, I wasn't. I didn't say mad. I was just like, "You giggling?" Like I, I, I started to calm down after like five yeah, minutes. Like freaking How many Dude. minutes would you say it was? No, like it was like a solid fifteen minutes. Freak out. Cam said five minutes because after five minutes I was calming down. We drove from yeah, it was like halfway back from uh, Westlake Village, so it was fifteen minutes, ten or fifteen. Okay. Yeah, I'm on we, Olive we Garden. We drove all the way to Westlake Village for a party, and the cops were just standing out front. Whose party was it? Sam found the party, of uh, course. It f- fell through. Yeah, like this motherfucker, bro. Wait, I didn't even answer this. My job, if I wasn't a YouTuber, fucking IT. No, nah, I'd be a video editor. Oh yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah. No, no, no. It can't be like it can't be YouTuber. Like it can't be anything related. Because <sighs> if I didn't have a brand, I'd. I'd Try to do like so a... So no video thing? Okay. No. Uh, fucking... Nothing like you would enjoy. Uh, that's so dumb. No, but that's still like cool. That's still go like back, a cool go job. Back and, go back and get my... Uh, I'm 12 credits away. F- I'm 12 credits away from my degree. Go back and get my degree, bro. In what? Digital media production. Oh. Go be a news news cameraman. Waking up at 6 Dude, imagine if you were like the, the actual weatherman. I can't do that. They're, oh my god, dude! I see TikToks of people that that do that, and they. Wake I know. Up, I get that shit too. Yeah, they wake up at like four thirty and get all yeah. ready, and then they're on the news by five thirty or some shit. How long do they do that shit for? Like all fucking morning till yeah, like eight? Probably like until like uh, ten or eleven. Oh, it could, they could be early morning news and stop at like eight. Yeah, you're right, dude. I used to love early morning news, like when I get ready for school. I'd be so yeah, like that, cozy, that's just bro. Depressing. I remember, dude, when I was in elementary school, for some reason the weatherman came to my fucking school. And I was so hype. I was like, yo, this is the first famous person I've ever met. You know what came to my school? <laughs> <laughs> it was like the like the light skin dude for like the DC one. And he has like glasses and he's old. Like kind of. Res- Andre or something? A- I'm not going to fucking remember his name. I think I know who you're talking about. Oh Wait, God. Today Show guy? No, Isn't like the, the actual. Rep- Al Roker. <laughs> who's that? Who's that? <laughs> I was thinking about Al Roker, New York City. I'm a fucking idiot. Hold on. Favorite underground artist right now? Fucking yeet, bro. I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, Drake. Drake. <laughs> uh, underground artist. Dude, I don't know, man. These are hard questions, bro. Dude, I, I'm so out of touch with like the underground now, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. I have no fucking idea. This guy. Okay, but he usually has glasses. My Wait, favorite, w- favorite underground artist, Young Thug, bro. 100%. He isn't underground. It's a joke. Oh. I don't know, man. I like Drake. Do you know Drake? Do you yeah. like his new album? NBA. Have you heard of NBA Youngboy yet? No. Crip Mac. Is he still alive? No, he's in jail. He's been <gasps> in jail. For what? He had a gun charge and he fought. He's like, he had beef with like another guy, like semi-famous rapper, Jap5, I think. And they like fought in jail. And they, they squabbled in jail or some shit. That's you think you fucked him up? I think, no, I, I think there's a rumor that Crip Mac got fucked up a little bit. <gasps> yeah. Dude, can you imagine how scary it would be to be in jail? Yeah, like you have to Oh like, my God, bro. bro. Have you seen those two guys that, one of them's an MMA fighter, they went on Joe Rogan talking about jail and like, one of them like literally had to fight for his life against two people in a cell and they were trying to stab him and he, he's an MMA fighter so he choked them both out and survived and the guards just watched it happen. Buddy, oh my God. buddy uses MMA skills to choke him out and survive in jail. Isn't that hard as fuck? Yeah, that is. They both sick. went to sleep, bro. That shit's so sick, dude. Have you been? I've been getting this shit suggested on my YouTube so much. This guy who like <coughs> used to sell cocaine for like uh, <laughs> what the fuck is suggesting to you, bro? No, and he like he's like a comedian now, and he like did time in prison and shit. But he uh, he like goes into detail about like crazy stories. It's really good. What? Do you know his name? Wait, I think I've he's I've fuck- seen another channel of some guy that got out of prison and talked about shit. But he's I, like a super like clean cut white dude. Fuck, I don't know, man. Uh, and he he's like really good at telling stories too. I you would you would definitely like it. Johnny Mitchell, guys, if you guys want to hear about this guy that used to sell cocaine, I know who that is. He's a douche. He is. Yeah. He is. Why? He fucked over someone. I forgot who it was. Badly. It was, what uh, the fuck? I like him. Um, Brandon Buckingham. 
He fucked over. Oh, fu fuck him. I Bad, love Brandon Buckingham. Badly, yeah. What did he do? He's like sided with Danny Mullen when Danny Mullen was like so wrong. Oh, yeah. Danny Mullen. Danny Mullen, you're, I, I like you. I like your videos. I love Brandon love and Brandon. Danny. Yeah. But Me too. I love both <laughs> Brandon and Danny so much, but Danny kind of fucked over Brandon a lot. Yeah, no, I agree. So that's just a fact. Are you going to move in with your girlfriend? I hope not. Crying laughing emoji. That's what someone said to me. They've lived together for like five years. Yeah, like so long. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, What's your biggest me. fear, Johnny? What about you, Jake? I think we all know. We all know Jake's biggest fear. My biggest fear is that if hell is a real thing, going there for eternity and burning. It's just not real. The thing about science. What was it like before we were born? Black, nothing. No, okay, okay. We're going to die and see black and not be real anymore and disintegrate okay, into the ground. Okay, but what if... What if okay, listen. What if, like, aliens and shit are real and when you, like, die, you're, you like... Get, your soul like goes to something, but that's what they thought heaven and hell was. And if you're a bad person, you go to like a bad like planet and that's, and it's on fire all the time and you're just I, burning. I'm just kidding. I think that there truly is something that's more after life. Well, I'm like probably that. going to whatever the bad one is. Well, yeah, that's fucking scary. And my second biggest fear is getting uh, put in like a dog cage and a locker lock on it and then throwing it into like a pool. <laughs> Cause then you oh can't Oh my swim. god. Yeah. This man Johnny's just bring up anything just extremely fucked. No, I've always had a fear of that. I have I don't a know fear why of so just specific. Getting pushed out of an airplane. Ah. That would be like a good way to go out there because you're like You just woo. slowly fall to your death for a minute looking oh. at the floor. But you that is like Well, you're so high up it takes a minute to get to the ground. All right. I don't know if you guys heard, but Brandon just said his number or new unlocked fear is living in an apartment building and someone shoots a gun in the floor above you and almost hits you on accident. Oh wait, I have another fear. Straight you, know the, you know those people that fucking uh like cave dive, but it's like this small, and you have to like literally like like no 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 like, like I those towers. oh my god my hands are sweating that doesn't really make me scared oh my god I can't do heights bro climbing towers on a ladder Johnny what do you just do you <laughs> oh fuck I was like pulling my ring off and I punched the table anything heights for me I'm let my hands are sweating. oh I don't care about heights dude you don't care about heights no not really. What? But fucking like ca like caves and shit, bro. Small spaces. Oh, dude, I remember my uh, I had a babysitter when I was little, and her fucking little sister, she had like she had like three siblings, I think, and I was under a blanket, and they all sat on the corners, and I couldn't get out. I was like, ah, let me the fuck out. I'm gonna be honest. I think I had that <laughs> so fear. <scary. laughs> I think I have that fear too because I remember if I got <laughs> if I did a quarterback sneak and got piled on by everyone, I'd freak the fuck out. Like bad. Oh my god, a quarterback sneak. Cam was doing the sneaky corner. I would have to sneak, and then all of a sudden there's like 15 kids just laying on me. You're like, get the fuck off! And I, I, I remember screaming like, get the fuck off me, hurry up. <laughs> like, for sure. Just calm and collected. Yeah, like just tried to not freak out. Who oh, that's actually that? a good topic. This porn star turned Twitch streamer, but she still probably does OnlyFans, I don't know. She has a, she has like, obviously simps that fucking, she has like 5,000 subs on Twitch. Look at the burger back. This bitch, all right, it was a pit for like when you like duel. I saw that. And it wasn't deep. And this bitch jumped <coughs> into it and broke her back. And it's like, Twitch, what the fuck are you doing? Apparently people before that tuned the same day got injured too. Like, Why would they? It, it was literally it was just cement. enough for them to cover it. It was cement. Cement under it. Under it. It, was, it, was like, it was like two, two, two uh, <laughs> blocks of foam and then a mat, a thin mat, and then cement. What the fuck were they thinking? Yeah, they didn't expect people to jump in it, but like, how the fuck? It's a fucking foam pit, you fucking. Yeah, I'd, bro, that's the first thing I would try to like backflip into what it. What if someone dove into it? <laughs> so she like literally broke her back. Yeah, she had to get. She has to get surgery. Well, she had surgery. That's so fucked. Yeah. Poor girl, she hot. What? You want to have kids in ten years? I want to have kids now, dude. Dude, you're too quick with that, bro. Like, why what would you, you want to have a kid? Bored with life, I want a fucking kid. Get a dog. For two years, three years, four years. But that, what do you mean? And I, then get rid of it? No, I'm saying like, and then have a kid a few years later. Then that's even more. See, a kid, like, bro, I can make that little fucker whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? I'll like, no, I'll just make him so. You're going to have a child because you want to style it. No, man. I mean, like, raise it to be like, just like fucking sick. Like, so cool. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What are you going to fucking put death metal in his ears and give him a nope. drumstick? <laughs> no, dude. I mean, I'm gonna make him play instruments, and if he hates it, I don't fucking care. Get back to work, bitch. Put, put Photoshop in front of him. Put Photoshop in front of him. Yeah, he, he can't have no choice. He can have a drum set and a how, fucking Photoshop. How old will your child have to be for them to smoke weed? 
Because I, okay. I'm going to say like 18. Because I know from smoking when we were young, that definitely messed with my brain. I think that fucked me up, especially K2. Yeah. Well, like, I know it gave you anxiety. <coughs> smoking weed. No, anxiety started when I got cloud originally. And all the pressure on my shoulders. That's a, mm. that's why I have anxiety, 100%. Mm. That makes sense. That's the root of it. Okay. Yeah, it's not just weed. Huh. Because I smoked weed for years before, and I still did it here and there. Like, But I, I thought fine. you always hated it. There's definitely sometimes where I enjoyed it, though. Why would I? Uh, why okay. would I? Like, the, obviously, the majority of the time, I did have some, some panic attacks, but there was definitely times where I was so fine. You, it, oh, but you wouldn't, like, freak out, like, without being high ever. Uh, like you wouldn't have Dude, anxiety if you weren't high. No, the only thing I worried about in high school growing up was a mass shooting in school. Like I had to exit for each class to run to if a mass shooting started in my school. Because there was a, like 10 creeps in my school that I knew were probably thinking about it. That's scary. Like there's some weirdos went to my <coughs> high school, bro. And I was like, that fucker, his dad owns a gun. The door's right there, 100%. Oh, man. One of them's a fucking cop now. There's, yeah, there's like three kids that went to our school that should not be cops, bro. Like, they have anger issues. Who? I can't say it, bro. I'm Just not trying to put, air my boy out. Why are you a ginger? <sighs> I was born this way. You can't change it. <laughs> I can't change my hair color, really. What's your dream car? I feel like we've talked about this on the podcast, bro. Fucking, my dream car is... I don't care that much about cars like that, bro. Turn the other way. They can't see your face at all. You want me to talk to you like this? No, like, there you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why what? are you doing that? Now we're not going to be even. Whore. This just feels weird. What's your dream? No, just stay. No, don't look that way. Th perfect. Okay. You were like this. Because I'm talking to you. It's weird. Completely the opposite direction. No, we need to have one camera right there and one camera right there. I feel like we should just bring the recliners back, bro. Comment down below if we should just throw this fucking table. I have two recliners. We could get rid of this table. How I much? bought it for three hundred. You you get one for one fifty. Bitch, this motherfucker. I just bro. gave you a fifty percent discount. <coughs> Wait, Cameron. What? <laughs> what do you mean this bitch is in pristine, pristine condition? Pristine condition. Fifty pristine. percent discount. Hundred bucks. Deal or no deal. Yeah. yeah. Well, how long have you been trying to get that one started? Wait, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Brandon, 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 you're like, dude, I can't wait Brandon. to get this shit right. I've heard that for like six months. If you want to get that, well, he has, you know how Brandon is, bro. He takes him a while to get things going. All right, look, listen. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, listen. Everyone, listen. Brandon, 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 Brandon. Look, 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 look. If you want this to get in your apartment, bro, you're going to need like a U Haul. No, I'm going to do the. Uh, dude, but no, I, I actually do. I want to redo like everything. All right. Like, I want to get some like. Well, I have ideas. Tell it. Okay. How did you and Johnny meet? I'm curious. We've talked about this, bro. Yeah. Johnny's fat in sixth grade. I asked for his French fries or something. Or no, he asked for my French fries. That's yeah. it. No, but I also knew you were Blair's brother, and I, and I thought Blair was cool. Mm. And I was like, oh, fuck, that's Blair's brother. Um, Are you going to finish those fries? Because I just sat alone before. You sat with that, that one bitch. What was her name? My. My. Yeah. Oh, my God, my. She's probably, like, she's probably smart as shit. She's probably like curing cancer. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> but... I was just sitting alone, like, on the end of the table, and Cam and this girl were sitting, like, up a little bit, and I would just, like, be like, fuck, he's cool. What? I what? Was ginger. Bro, you had good fits. What? What do you mean? Dude, our Brett? fits were probably so bad back then. I wore Tom's. Once I saw Brett wear them in school, I was like, fuck it. And I wore them after Brett did. I just always thought they looked He pussy. wore them outside of school, though. Don't yeah, let no. him tell I, I wore them, like, three times total. Lies. I, I, when, yeah. when did I wear them other than, like, the three times? Just definitely a lot. You're just capping. Bro. I swear to God, I wore them, like, three times. When we would go on, like, long hikes and shit because I could, like, get them wet and I wouldn't care. We were the emo kids. Everyone wore Tom's. Who cares? No, I don't. I don't. If, dude, if I wore them, I'd fucking admit it. Hmm. I swear, I just admit, Johnny, I didn't wear Johnny, them that much. I was more of a Vans guy. Johnny also had a white tee that said OMG on it, right? No, it said, it said, it said OMG, AKA WTF. Oh, and it was a, it was no. a V neck. It was a V neck. I have that picture. I'll pull it up. That is so bad. OMG, AKA WTF. Wait, Brandon, you're going to get a kick out of this picture. Hold on. Do you still talk with Skies on the regular? Probably like once a month on Instagram. If I'm to be honest, boys, maybe. Which has been the most heart-to-heart -heart artist you guys have collaborated with, Matt? Sky's has always been really nice in person. Cole, <coughs> Cole Bennett is very nice in person. Who else is really nice? Puya is very nice in person. Suicide Boys are amazing in person. Who else? 
Fat neck is cool in person too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a zoom in on that, bro. That shit's good shit, bro. Damn, I thought I was so fucking swag. That's so bad, Jake. Feast your eyes. And that's I had on some oh, floral sunglasses. Let's unpack this here. Okay. Can you talk about your thoughts on wings? Flats versus drums. You I think first? there's a bigger discussion here. Boneless versus bone in, Jake. Jake. Bro, if you literally if you eat boneless wings, you're a fucking pussy. Comment down below if you eat boneless wings, like you're a pussy. Meat, having to scavenge like a fucking more meat. meat? Bro, you're eating a little fried booger. You're eating a frozen chicken nugget, bro. Do you want do you want non frozen chicken that tastes better? I'm not eating like it's fucking like it's the twenties? You're talking about Neanderthals and you're talking about the twenties? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you go to Harvard? <laughs> I mean that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that Neanderthals weren't in the nineteen twenties. If you eat boneless wings, you're just wrong. Yeah, no, you're just Bone a pussy. Like, grow better. a fucking penis. It's not frozen. You don't have a mic. <clears throat> what, what do you like better? Ask me, pussy. D drums or flats? Yeah. Obviously, flats are nice, but I don't give a fuck. I'll, I'll shred anything. That's what I'm saying. I like I like having a nice, like, back and forth because, like, the flats. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like both, bro. Yeah, because, like, the, the, the drums are real nice to, like, really just get, like, yeah. in there. But then the flats, you can just, like, suck them clean off. Even though I'm terrible at eating wings. I mean, yeah, but that's we're not talking about the... Your ability to eat wings right now. <laughs> Favorite sauce. And the spicy shit. Not too spicy, though. Like, slightly. Jake, I, I, you of all people, bro, you should know that. Mm, I want wings so bad. Are no. bad, bro. Can we go to Eureka after this? It's not even a wing. You're eating a yeah, you're nugget. literally eating chicken nuggets. I'd still rather eat them. Like they're, they're have, you tried, <laughs> have you tried bone in wings? No, I've never tried bone in wings. <laughs> no, when, when was the, the last, last time? time? That was weird. What do you mean? You would. This is something you would remember. BJ's when wings, was it? BJ's wings are <gasps> when was it? I just broke something. <laughs> I literally just broke something, bro. I actually just broke something. <laughs> All right, bigger questions here. Fuck the wing conversation. Jake's wrong. Ass or titties, dude. <sighs> if I feel like ass is the more mature. Answer. It is. It is. I love a fucking set of jugs. Just like. Put them motherfuckers in my fucking face, bro. Please. Johnny has always loved boobs growing up, and I never got to show No, it. I have it. I have it. Listen. Clothed ass, naked titties. Clothed ass? You don't like a big naked booty in front no, of me? No, I don't get me wrong. I love a naked booty in front of me, but they look so good, like, in clothes. Like, boobs don't really look that, like, sick in clothes. But, like, a, like a, dude, when a bitch with a big old fat ass walks by and, like, some nice jeans or, like, leggings, I'm like... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. But like, if a bitch has big titties, I'll just be like, oh, she has big titties. I won't like be like, oh. Well, yeah, the jugs. Look at those milkers. <laughs> like, like, I love a good Johnny, set of jugs. Johnny likes milkers. <laughs> no, dude, but I love when like, I love like jizzing on titties. Like, oh my God. And then, bro, I just fucking love titties when they're like shiny, bro. Like, and no, dude, shower soapy titties. Oh my God, bro. The soapy fucking boobs. Or like, bro, when you shower with a girl and you're like behind her and you're like, Oh my god, fucking squeezing the milkers, bro. All shiny and slippery. Johnny's gonna have to go, get a, fucking go to the god. massage place after this. What time is it? It's only 6.39. They're still open, bro. Oh my god, dude. Stop. Now I can't stop. Fucking Johnny, you're risking it all. Fucking punching <sighs> no, shit. You know what, dude, titties, I've, had, I've had so much energy lately because um I've been taking Joe Rogan's alpha brain and it actually fucking works. I swear to god. <sighs> I feel, I'm pretty sure I've seen the scientists make a video about that and dissecting it, saying it's not even that good. They're wrong. Mm. Joe, it's Joe Rogan. How, did you still pay for that subscription? No, I just get them. Because I, I I only buy like the bottles based on like what I okay. want. I don't good. take the whole fucking say. concoction. Will you ever make a song yourself? I think he's talking about me. No, probably not. No, maybe like a joking song. Yeah. But I need ghostwriters. I suck. That Skid Marks one was bad. It took me... Three hours to make a song that was ghost written by me. Like I had a reference song, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, literally a whole reference song, and you still couldn't do it. And I couldn't, I couldn't, <clears throat> I couldn't. You rap, couldn't stay on beat. I couldn't rap to the beat. It was like when when Landon, Landon would go do it in front of me, and I'd be like, "All right, just do what I just did," and then I would hear the beat by itself with nothing, and I wouldn't be able to get on the beat. <laughs> God, no rhythm, ass, bro. I can't dance either. Oh my God, I've never seen you dance. I can moonwalk. <laughs> Insert clip of you moonwalking. 
Bro, should I start moonwalking instead of dancing awkwardly? Like, when we go to dancing environments? <laughs> Dude, I've literally never seen you Wait, dance. you know what would be even funnier if I just secretly took dancing lessons for like a year and then just started break dancing in front of everyone? Like, uh, uh, and then do the fucking one where you <laughs> swing your leg around. And everyone's the, just the, like... The fucking helicopter shit where you're full on break dancing. That'd be so fucking funny. Dude, imagine you in dance lessons right now. Stop. Like you got a bunch of like that's little actually, kids and then you and you have a, like a sideways hat on. That's another fear of mine, matter of fact, is dancing in public or in front of family. What what, what do you mean? That's so like, embarrassing. What do you do I at don't know weddings? how to dance, bro. What do you do at weddings? Oh, I don't dance at weddings. It's, it's always an issue. What do you do? My whole family yells at me, get up and dance. And I'm like, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm gonna see you. I'll that. be at weddings literally jumping like I'm at a fucking <laughs> show, dude. I'll be going. Oh, dude, me and Brandon literally be busting moves. I don't dance at weddings. I feel awkward. What? What do I do? The white dad? No, dude, you can just like, it's just fun. Everybody else around you is dancing. No one cares. <sighs> I need a, a tutorial. Dude, did I tell you about how at Justin's wedding, they were like playing a day to remember and shit? What? Yeah, dude, they were playing like emo That's hard. music. I know, and everyone was like going crazy. It was so fun. Fuck. Oh my God, I watched Wedding Crashers the other night. I watched that like a month ago. That's so weird. Guys, Wedding Crashers was filmed like kind of like more Northern. You know what's Annapolis? Yeah. And you know Dylan Turner? Yeah. He's the fucking kid that is going off about the balloon. Yeah. Like this kid that went to my high school is the like in that movie. Two kids. Sophie Bluen's in it too, no, I think. There's like five kids. That really? Like, I remember I, I it was like a, a few kids that I played football with were in it too. Yeah. That's so weird. But um, dude, that movie, like I cried watching Wedding Crashers. I'm going to be honest. I'd be crying watching movies sometimes. Me too. <laughs> and I never used to cry watching a movie as like... Cause when you're a kid, up. you're like, oh, what the fuck? Like, my mom cry? used to cry watching American Idol. Damn me. In Bachelorette and shit. No. And I would look at her like, what are you crying over? I don't think I would cry over that, but like a movie I can get, like, bro, Marley and Me, bro. Oh, that, I, dude, that might have been the first movie I cried too. Yeah, I think that's the first movie I ever cried. A dog yeah, that dying shit fucks, me up. fucks me up. Bridge of Terabithia. Bridge of Terabithia. Oh, yeah. I didn't cry, but I like, oh, I like was like, oh, I feel something right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, my god. That movie's fucking crazy. That's another one. Interstellar. Oh, I teared up with that one too. Oh my yeah, she's god. Old, yeah. That's so fucked. He realized he was like he was never there for sixty years or some shit. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Can you imagine that's that what, actually dude, happening? If you've never seen Interstellar, that's one of the greatest movies ever ever made, for sure. If you're not the smartest like me, it's a bit hard to follow. You have to watch it like ten it's just, times. It's like three hours too. Yeah, yeah, it is really fucking long. long. <laughs> Dude, I'm a fucking idiot. Can you post my music, please? No, fuck you. When Landon dropped music in, that band's been dropping like a single a month, bro. What are you talking about? You're dropping a yeah. project in the, probably in the next like four months. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers, independent hasn't dropped a project yet. Like, what's, what's he doing? Mm -mm -mm. Bro, ma matter of fact, let's bring this up. Mm -hmm. Where's... Should I say the name of it? What? Skies and Landon have a song called Bad Guys. I'll bleep it. They whatever. Drop that. And that bro, song is so fucking good. That Play it at my funeral. Yeah. There's a song. I thought they dropped that. Bro, I'm listening to a song all the time when we lived at the old Cuffboy's house. This was, what, a year and a half ago? And they still haven't dropped it. It's such that a fucking really banger. Fun, right? And Landon does the chorus. Yeah, that shit's hard. Why have they not dropped that? Dude, Landon can actually rap. Why does he not rap more? Landon can rap. He can fucking spit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> really can Why? Spit, bro. Like, so remember funny. that legend song? Yeah, that shit was hard. Like, what the fuck is he doing not spitting more randomly? Yeah, can you spit? Can bro, you that, spit that legend me? song, if he put out like an EP of that, that'd be hard. Yeah, like, bro, fuck. he should just for fun. He could make that in one night, like a deadass, but he's too much of a perfectionist. He should. You should call him and harass him and tell him to just put out a rap album. Bro, that legend song's hard. This one goes crazy. Lana, or Brandon, have you heard this? He was like 18. This meant Landon rapping on this like hard ass beat. This beat is hard as fuck too. We're like in, the, and then he like references another song, uh, bro. He's just hard. Landon can write such good lyrics, dude. <coughs> this part, Travis Scott ass fucking. I was there and he made this part and he was like, I'm gonna try to sound like Travis Scott right here. Yeah, shit's hard. It's hot, dude. Take your hoodie off. No, I have Wait, a Wait, this on. is actually something fucking annoying I need to talk about. Uh goddamn California online sports betting vote happened. No. 
4.4 million people voted no. And 500,000 people voted yes. Why would they fuck vote Fuck you, no? bitch. I want to be able to It's not vote. affecting you, pussy. I so, want to be able to fucking bet on UFC legally. Why would you not want sports betting? I don't understand why four million people said no. Well, you, do you, are they voting for that directly or are they voting for someone who votes against that? You're asking me a question I don't know the answer to. Oh, okay. I don't... I, 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 sorry. <laughs> Dude, weed's going to be completely legal in Maryland in July or June. That's not already happened yet? I thought it was legal no. fucking... Uh, medical. But uh, recreational is in... Wait, how is that not like... That's something Joe Biden could do to just like put his dick down if you want to like get on people's good side again. Be like, fuck it. It's illegal everywhere. I, I don't think he can't do he's too scared. I don't even think. Bro, Joe Biden doesn't even run shit. He's just a puppet. I don't even think. I any, feel like everyone hates Joe Biden right now. He needs to do something, bro. bro. I don't even think anyone would like care if he did that. Like they'd still hate him. Yeah. Wait, didn't you call me recently when you got on a plane recently and said you brought a knife through TSA again? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Johnny, how do you do that again? Because I always just accidentally have knives in my backpack. This man, one time we were rushing for a flight. We're sprinting through this airport to make this flight to LA. Mm. We get to TSA and he has a knife. So the shit hits the fan. 10 cops come. Yeah, bro. They were like, <laughs> it was so fucked. He said, he said, whose knife is this? And I was like, mine. And he was like, uh, well, first of all, we're going to take it. I was like, that's fine. And he was like, and I want you to know one more thing. Um, 9-11 was committed with a one inch box cutter and one of my friends died that day and I was like dude I literally don't give a fuck. We're not a terrorist. Yeah, Sorry. like look at me, dude I'm a fucking 19 year old kid going to Puerto Rico. We forgot our knives were in the book bag. Yeah, it's not that serious What but happened recently? He didn't give a fuck. He was oh. like, oh shit uh, They were like, is this your bag? And I was like, yeah, and then he took it and he was like You want me to throw it away? And I was like, yeah What? Yeah, he didn't give a fuck. That seems a little bit. I'd rather I have swear, more didn't security. Give a fuck. It was like a younger dude. He didn't give a fuck though I mean, what what uh, what do you mean more security? You want I mean, to be like, uh, at least what like, are you doing? Like an investigation? At least like two cops come up and like ask you five questions or something. What else am I going to do? They saw, they found the I knife. Mean, yeah, but what if you, they didn't find something else that you have and you get on the plane and you fucking. They're going to find it, dude. I'm going through many, many. Did you know that there was some fucker that got on a plane in 2000 or no, 2006 and he had a bomb in his shoe and he tried to set it off and they, and it didn't work properly or something and they had to land the plane. Hell. Yeah. That's so awkward. You like try to do it and then everyone's just like, what are you doing? Yeah. He's like, I yeah. had a bomb. It didn't go off. And then they're like, all right, well, we got to land. Like we got to arrest you now. That's, That's so, bad. so bad. Dude, I just seen <coughs> someone tried to smuggle a gun in an uncooked chicken. Turkey. Yeah. Un uncooked turkey in Florida. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where? What do you mean? Through Onto security. Yeah. <laughs> they said, I'm going to put in a chicken. But you can't, it's like, you can't even bring a chicken. So what were they thinking? Oh, they're just brain dead. <laughs> yeah. Like, actually. They're like, yo, this is going to work. I'm going to smoke. Like, put it in the... Yeah. The old the old PP. Was it, like, an illegal gun, obviously? I'm assuming. I mean, it was a pistol. I'm assuming it was... Remember when we were at a bowling alley and, and Davis's gun got stolen? Wait, it wasn't fuck. Davis. It wasn't even Davis's. Fuck. So, someone we were with... We were at a bowling alley and someone we were with had a legal gun... And it got stolen at the bowling alley, and we were all freaking the fuck out. That's so bad. Yeah. Oh, my God. I want to read this comment. Okay. I pinned it specifically in my notes for us to read this on the podcast. I've been putting random reactions on my second channel just to yeah, do it, because yeah. why not? And uh, someone commented something so dumb. And it's, like, so funny that I wanted everyone to hear this. <clears throat> Sorry to all the Cough Boys and Cam fans out there, because I am one, too. But, dude, these reactions aren't the same anymore. You do the mainstream cuts and edits and don't have a real reaction anymore. I've always done cuts in my reactions for years, every time, since yeah. 2016. It almost seems like you listened to the song right beforehand. I did not. Like, I was just genuinely... Why? Like, you don't care that much. No, I, it's a Juice World song. I'm kind of sad about listening to Juice World song. I don't want to have energy in a Juice World reaction. No way this should be 4.5 minutes when the song is a minute shorter. What? People have long-ass reactions for long songs all the time. Now, here's the dumb part. Uh, you reacted to fighting demons and were distracted 90% of the time. Not true. What's fighting demons? His album reaction. It was like an hour long re oh. stream. I had a huge stream and I was like energetic and fun. Like 4,000 people watching. I was like a perfect stream. I was not distracted. Yeah. False. We all know why you do this. Money emojis. But for people who care, you shouldn't do it. Especially if you care about Jared. I don't make money off reaction videos. You fucking idiot. What's this kid's name? And then look, 
Also, he's drinking a Coke throughout this entire video. Seems like a hidden sponsor to me. You're a fucking NPC. What's his name? How would I have a hidden Coke sponsor? You fucking idiot. Why would Coke sponsor you? They don't need you. They don't need <laughs> you. <laughs> what? I'm the last person they would sponsor. Wait, you were just casually sipping on a... Is it a, a, a Diet Coke. DC, baby. Casually sipping on a Diet Coke and he thinks it's a hidden Look, sponsor. Someone's commented about the podcast too. Say we have Red Bulls sponsor. Yes. Yeah, like, bro, you think you you think you have a relationship? Bro, this artist doesn't give a fuck about you. Bro, I responded to it. Brother, you just wrote paragraphs of bullshit. Oh, my God. What a pussy. Is this picture an anime? No, his name's Nicholas Holland. Nicholas Holland, shut the fuck up. Never speak. You're not allowed to have an opinion ever again. <coughs> that was the only bad comment on the entire video. I just th thought it was so funny that I had to point it out because he's so brain dead. Oh, my God. Like, what a fucking idiot. I don't make money off reaction videos. I don't even know if this is a viable episode. It could be a bonus episode. Who fucking knows? But I think it, I might be able to scrap it together because we stopped recording on t for 10 minutes on accident. I mean, regardless, we just got another 42 minutes. But before that, we only had like 15 of pure chaos. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, love you guys. Patreon.com slash call. Hey! Ransomclothing.co. Ransom Clothing, Nick Boar, and Crypto World. Shop. Those are the only clothes you ever need to wear. Right? It's Jake Hoffman. <laughs> Jake Hoffman. Uh, follow us all on everything. Um, comment down below any other podcast topics. Also, like the fucking podcast and comment shit because that helps again the algorithm. And our shit's been getting age restricted recently, so that's fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. All right.